Hello and welcome to my iPhone tour. Um, so we're on my lock screen right now, which is just a picture that I've got. I've gotten from Tumblr. Um, unfortunately, like I don't know um, if I can find the link to find it because I want to give like credits to the person that made it because I think it's really cute. And anyway, so when we arrive uh, uh, <laughs> sorry apparently i can't use my iphone but yeah the first app that i have is the calendar app of course um i don't really use it um this like actively like i don't actually use it to put things on it sometimes i put things on it but it's really rare most of the time I just use it like I think it's pretty cool to see the dates and also if like you're gonna plan something you can see like oh, uh, the 4th of July is gonna be a Thursday things like that but I'm not gonna actually put things on the calendar I very I very um, rarely do if not like never moving on uh, second of all I've got my mail app so this I use quite a lot um, I've got so what I do, I don't know if there's embarrassing, like not embarrassing, but like <laughs> um, if there's things that I quite private, I'm gonna like. I hope I don't forget to like blur things out, of course. But what I do is I have like um, multiple mailboxes um, in one app, which is really practical. I've got like my personal things, my professional things, but I like to have everything same place just so that I don't miss anything I always check my mail I always like delete them like I don't let it like be messy you know because I, I know I'm getting sometimes I might get important emails so I really try to take care of this app like I don't know <laughs> maybe it's weird but yeah anyway and then I've got my pictures app really nothing special it's just my picture app but yeah I just I don't have specific files or anything I just save pics I like <laughs> or important things or anything like in my pictures app um, but more importantly one of my most like favorite um, like important apps in my phone is the reminders app I use it so much all throughout the school year and even now so first I've got my uh, reminder to take uh, my pill I know some people have an alarm for that but I don't find it necessary like just having a reminder is fine with me and um, I write things like this app is like making my life so much better just because like I won't have to think uh, about everything myself like every time I'm like I think about like doing something I'm like oh I should definitely do that on like this day I don't have to keep thinking about it. I can just write it on write it on this app, and then like my mind is free. Like it doesn't have to think about everything. Um, I use this app to make habits in my life. Like for example, I use it to remind myself to study Korean this summer. Um, I wanted to do uh, the like I wanted to go on bike rides every day. <laughs> But unfortunately, I think it is not gonna happen because today I tried to go and it's like it was just like a nightmare. <laughs> I'm just like not. This is just too difficult for me. So I'm just gonna try to uh, like adapt and find something that is better for me. But this is probably not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna delete this. And it's just the best app. Like uh, for example, to study Korean, like I. I made this so that yeah it ends on the 28th of June so like for a month I'm just reminding myself to study Korean every day and I think like that's that's really practical to make up habits in your life like when you're not good at, at having new habits and things like that at least you're gonna think about it and like yeah anyway I think everybody knows how to use the reminder app but I just really like it um yeah YouTube I, li I really like YouTube actually, like what a surprise, <laughs> I use YouTube for like many things and the thing is like my main uh, advice uh, concerning the YouTube app is that I, I use the notifications function really efficiently, like I don't put the not notifications on for anyone, like I always put notifications on for people that I know I always watch their videos and I don't want to miss any and 
that way my notifications are like clogged so things that i watch are mostly like asmr <laughs> videos um vlog channels i watch a lot of vlog channels and journaling videos like planning videos things like that then i have v lives which is like an app for well like k-pop artists have um live streams and everything and even like sometimes like reality shows daily rule just in case i'm hungry uh also i have different files then i really want to keep everything on one screen the title of the files don't make any sense it's just like fruit emojis just because they're cute so anyway uh the first um file that i have it's really just things I love <laughs> like I have cacao tom just because like my I have a friend that's like that went to study abroad for a year so I had to talk with her through this like app and then you have the Twitter app <laughs> I like spend so much time on Twitter I think Instagram I love Instagram like my life <laughs> I don't know I literally the thing with Instagram is I oh only watch like stories like i like i barely um uh, read my timeline i'm always on the stories i don't know why but it's like stories are, are much more interesting uh, myself i don't really i'm not really active on instagram i'm like a really local ac account and i barely post anything like once a month just to show people i'm alive <laughs> or if i'm doing a really cool thing then superstar bts which is like a game like a musical game or whatever and like I barely use it these days um then the webtoon app um I used it to watch to read the videos once again <laughs> the videos webtoon which was saved me it was so good I also bought the book the book about the most beautiful moment in life and it's, it was really so good like I have no regrets on buying this it was so good like I genuinely really liked it Lastly, the three last apps, which are Periscope, Dam Cafe, and Melon. I don't really want to explain them. Um, Dam Cafe and Melon are mostly BTS related. Um, if you want more details on them, please um, tell me in the comments. By the way, um, I recently tried to level up on the BTS Cafe, like I applied. So if you want like if you have questions about how i replied uh, then these are mostly traveling apps um for example there are like uh subway apps buses um the weather app as well as well as maps and the health app i mostly use it just to track um my steps and yeah as you can see i did nothing today <laughs> but I only use it for this to be honest I also have Uber Eats and I put it here just because I use it less than Deliveroo because where I live Deliveroo has way more choices available um, I definitely want to talk about the Stade de France uh, app which is like so useful for people that are going to the concert in Paris I would definitely recommend getting this one so this is an app where first you can get tickets on it and yeah there's BTS here and um best thing about this app is je suis ici et j'ai faim which means i'm here and i'm hungry so this is a system where you're just supposed to tell them where you are in the stadium where you're seated and like they are gonna deliver the food you order to your seat which is so cool in my opinion i'm definitely planning on doing this next june so i would definitely recommend there's also details on how to get there how to get to the stadium like which subways to use so it's definitely really useful i would definitely recommend getting this app um uh moving on the lemon is my least favorite apps like it's just the things that i don't use i don't use apple music because i use Spotify premium which is way better i have the app like the army boom app but i don't have my army boom yet i just like don't wait to see how it was but yeah 
I definitely plan on using this. It's just it's not my least favorite eye. It's just that I don't have my armbow yet. So yeah, that's why it's here. Um, moving on here are my like editing apps. So these are like there aren't many apps just because I used to have many editing apps and I never used any of them. So I decided to delete the ones that I didn't use. Um, first of all, is Bestie. So I love this app. It's like a fashion app. You can change how your skin looks like. You can um, erase your like spots. Foodie is really good. It's just really simple to use and it has like really cute filters. So that's why I use it. Um, then I have Google Photos. So I use Google Photos to save my pictures and delete them from my phone just to save space on my phone basically. And then Tumblr, I never use Tumblr. I'm really sure not to, I'm just not a Tumblr person. I just use it like to find lock screens or good quality pictures. That's why it's here. Lightroom, barely use it. <laughs> but yeah, here I try to make an edit with it. As you can see, this is the before picture and this is the after picture. Literally, I'm like so proud of this, but I made this like a month ago and I never used this app afterwards, so. Then this is to scan pic like scan pictures. Here are my learning apps. So what I have here first of all is Quizlet. Quizlet is like the best app ever. So basically it's, it's a flashcards app. I didn't want to download this app because I thought it was gonna make me uh, like waste so much time away because I was like I'm not gonna spend like hours writing down my notes into flashcards like that's just insane like I don't want to waste my time <laughs> and I then discovered like the best thing ever and it's the fact that you can find people that took the same classes as you before and they already made flashcards like you can literally find flashcards for your classes that are already made and it's literally changed my life that's why I really like it and it's really practical for anything like any subject whether it be languages but also like science like I used to use them for definitions definitely definitions and yeah I owe my entire like um, education to this app <laughs> then we have forest so this is a like you have to pay for this app but I believe there's like a free version so definitely look for that you're gonna have to write how much time you want to study you say for example I want to study for like 15 minutes you just put plant and it plants a little plant of course and as soon as like you leave the app the plant is gonna like be dying it tells you your plant is about to die just go back like this is made so that you don't get like unfocused and like you don't look on your phone while studying if you look on your phone your, your plant is gonna die but if i don't look at my phone for like 10 minutes then you'll go back to the app and you'll find like a a fully grown plant and it's just so cute but then you can find all the trees that you've planted and that you've successfully um, grown throughout your years and how much time you have studied and things like that so it's just really practical I love this app I would definitely recommend it for more productivity if you have like trouble um, looking at your phone while studying and it's like trouble focusing like I really advise it <coughs> Swipes, uh, it's just like to the list. I barely use it anymore and I use Notion. In my concert, I made a page and I just made a to the list for what I want in my bag, for what I have to do. We have Clue, which is um, an app just to track my period. And I think it's really nice because it tells you when you're gonna get your period and it tells you. Then I have Never Dictionary, which is useful. My problem with Korean is like, I think I can speak it quite okay. I don't have enough vocabulary. So it gives you words that people actually use, not weird words that Google Translate is gonna like give to you. My last file is things that are professional. So I basically use like Facebook for professional, for professional things like, like Facebook groups with like, college facebook groups 
um, paying apps like yeah this is all like my bank account Google Drive Slack this is just things for like work and and then I have um, the Spotify app it's just like really um, good to understand your taste and make really good playlists for taste in fact in particular so i was just listening to the best song of 2018 basically i really hope you enjoyed this video because it's like my first time ever making one so i really tried my best hopefully you can understand that it's not perfect just because like it's my first video ever ever by the way i'm using an iphone 6 plus thank you also i would like to make way more video mostly productive and study videos have a good time and take care of yourself